What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is not everybody wants to see you win. Sit back, enjoy the show. Let's roll. Contrary to what you believe, not everybody wants to see you win. Not everybody's happy you're getting sober. Not everybody's happy that your business is expanding. Not everybody's happy that you're becoming the man that you want to be. And this hurts. I know this. Today, myself, yeah, we'll just talk about yesterday. So yesterday I won this award or was acknowledged for this award. And basically what it says is we made over $1 million with this funnel that that uh, my company built and that we made and so on and so forth, right? Cool, whatever. The money, the money's cool. The lives we change is more important. But at the end of the day, it's an award. It's prestigious. It's something that not a lot of people win. I think we're like the 134th, the 136th person with this particular company in the United States to actually win this, this, this award. Okay. So I posted it on Instagram, posted on Facebook and you know, the, the normal people like comment, share a lot of love on Facebook, but when you go on Instagram, what's really cool about this is I put it inside of my stories. <clears throat> now what I can see is this people watching it looking at it. See, if you go and you look at your stories, I know you already know this. You can see who likes you, who doesn't, or who likes your stuff, who looks at your stuff, who just creeps at your stuff. And I come and I'm watching, I've seen all these people and I'm looking at the comments inside of, I also posted it on side of the, um, the post, not just the stories. And lots of people like it and posting and sharing and talking and thankful and congratulations. But then the ones that I've always deeply wanted to be happy for me, the ones that I truly wanted to watch me be successful or appreciate the fact of what I've done or like and be, you know, literally like and be thankful or proud, right? That I've done it. Don't say a fucking word. Not a good job, not a text. And these are people that love us sometimes. These are our wives. This wasn't my wife. She loves everything I do. But these are our wives. These are sometimes our dads, family, coworkers people you look up to, other people across the board that you respect, and it fucking hurts. Now, I could give two shits where I'm at in my life, what people think or don't think, right? At first, I'm like, oh man, that sucks. I really wish that so-and-so person would be proud of me, and at the end of the day, what else is new? Not a big deal, never been in my whole life anyway, so fuck it, who cares, move on. But for those of you guys going through the addiction struggles and the pains, what I want you to talk about, or what I want to talk about, how I want to correlate this is this. There was a time inside of my life when I would get seven weeks, seven months, seven days, seven hours, seven, whatever it would be. And I would think, fuck, I'm doing it. I'm doing amazing. I would feel so good about what I was doing. And I would want the people around me to be proud of me. I would want the people to be happy for what I was doing. I want them to be like, hey, be, 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 be proud of me. Be in this with me. And they wouldn't. And what I had to come to find out is this for myself. You can't erase years and years and years of pain of what you've done to somebody and expect them to be on board, especially after you've went and you fucking have destroyed it over and over and over, at least in my journey, which I can talk about, I can't talk about yours, but in my journey, I said, I'm sorry, probably 10 million times. My actions never matched my, my words. That word became dead. I remember telling you, you know, my brother who I love, I'm sure you guys heard me talk about him and my, my parents and things like, you know, oh, yeah, just, I'm doing amazing. Can't you see it? And then they really like, oh yeah, cool. Fuck off. And that's okay because when you make this mindset shift that you're going after becoming who you want to be, it puts a new level of respect for yourself, but also respect for them. When my clients come in and they talk to me about like, oh man, my wife's not on board. She's not, she doesn't support me. She, she thinks I'm going to fail again. Well, no shit. You let her down over and over and over and over again. And you didn't want to own it. You want to pull this card where you think, hey, you know what? I'm just going to tell everybody I'm going to get okay. I'm going to do it. The truth is you never want to work on yourself. I did the same thing when I went into rehab. Calling people, hey, I'm in here. You know, you were able to get the phone for a little bit at night. I'm here. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. No, you're fucking not. You moved yourself from the fucking situation. You're not paying attention to anyone inside of the groups. You want to fight the fucking coat, the, uh, the whatever, the medical people in there, the counselors, because you're just rage because you have to be inside of there. But on the outside, you're telling everything, that's great. I'm going to be okay. This is awesome. I'm doing great. Where I'm going with this is this. It's not fucking up to them to support you. Not everybody needs to see you in. Not everybody wants to see you in. Not everybody deserves to see you in. But when you're making a decision for yourself to become who you want to be, you've got to do it for you. 
got to do it for the ones you truly love. But here's what I found out too through my whole journey. This is where you can understand. When you take this mindset and you apply it to your life day in and day out, years and years and years removed, I still catch shit, right? People still bring up shit from my past that they don't, whatever, don't trust me, don't respect me, don't like me. You know what? That's fine. I hurt them. I can only clean on my side of the street just like you can only clean up your side of the street. But the level of respect for the ones that you truly care about, you've got to be willing to be committed to them to fucking make it right with your actions. That old saying, that old adage, actions speak louder than words. They do. But what speaks more is the reps of those actions. The day in and day out, practice, belief, study, pushing, living, scratching, clawing. Those are the things that mean something to people. So when you put together your your 988th relapse, right? And you want to go to your wife and you want her to be happy for you because you're two days sober. You want to go to your grandma who's emptied out her bank accounts trying to save your life and just be to have her be thankful for the fact you decided to get your life sober for six months. Think about the damage you've done to them. Don't expect, you don't have to go, you can tell, but you don't have to like repair them. You've got to change your actions. You've got to do what's right for you and show them, but what's doing right for you is loving them the way they need, they deserve to be loved. And to wrap this up, not everybody is truly gives a fuck about you. You're not that special. Not everybody's going to shift their mindset on you. Not everyone's going to give you a second chance, third chance, fifth chance. And that's okay. As long as you give yourself a chance. And if today you're ready to take that chance, ready to make that choice, I want to encourage you to reach out to my team. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. It's the same link every day. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. We are waiting here with open arms to accept you, help you, and encourage you. It is our job, our duties, our responsibility to help you get through the painful pit that you're in. What it's going to take is the courage and commitment to yourself to go ahead and fill out that link, click that link, whatever you got to do to get a hold of that link and fill out the application and reach out to us. What's going to happen next is our team is going to reach out to you and we're going to set a time we're going to talk with you. Or you're going to set the time we're going to talk with you. But it's going to take courage. I want to encourage you today to do something about it. I appreciate you listening to this. Remember, you are the man. You're not broken. You don't have a disease. You're not a fucking loser. You just made some shitty choices. Make the right choice. Click that link. Sign up for tomorrow's episode. And I'll see you on the show.